Now that we have estimated our uh, distances for the walls and we have counted uh, corners, we've counted openings, we are ready to start estimating the number of studs that we need for these walls. So we're going to start by uh, going to the takeoff tab and then uh, selecting the exterior interior walls that we have uh, with nine feet tall. So this one here, it's uh, what I need. I will post that in OST. So I will paste it here. And then I am going to also paste the internal, interior interior walls. This one's here, nine feet tall. I'm going to start with the nine feet tall uh, walls and I also need to have the uh, interior corners for the nine inch nine feet walls and openings so actually I need to take these two so these are the conditions that I need to estimate the number of studs I have the nine feet tall uh, walls uh, with one inch metal furring. Then I have the uh, ones that have tiles on both sides and the ones that have double studs. So we see uh, here in the notes, we have the notes of which one has the uh, three and five eight uh, metal furrings and which one has the one inch metal uh, furring. So that is going to help us to determine the quantities that we need. I'll start with the calculations tab and then uh, I'm going to create a uh, line item here for uh, metal framing. So we can start with the uh, top and bottom channels. And basically, the what we need to to estimate is the length of the uh, walls. So we have length of walls with uh, three and five eighths uh, studs. We have this is going to be then the from on screen take of the length of um, interior walls that has tiles on, on both sides tiles and tiles on both sides and um, the double studs also with tiles on both sides those uh, are uh, the walls that we need with uh, 3 and 5 8 studs so we have 20 linear feet. This notice is the sum of three independent components and then we have um, the number of, uh, well we have the uh, separation for of studs. These are uh, separated 16 inch on center, right? So the uh, number of studs the number of studs is um, the length of the wall divided by the spacing but it's 16 inches divided by 12 because uh, we want to take everything in feet the number the length of the walls in feet so we need the number of studs in uh, uh, feet divided by feet which is then a number and uh, we need to add one uh, for the end uh, position so this will be plus one and then we need uh, this is uh, from walls then we need a number of studs per openings so that's going to be equal to the number of openings that we have uh, on these nine feet uh, walls. We have two of those, right? And then each opening is multiplied by two. So this is times two. We have uh, two 
pair opening. And then we have a uh, number of studs per um, corners. So we have the number of uh, corners that we have. Openings and intersections is nine. Interior corners is five. So we need uh, three, three per corner. So this number of uh, corners that we calculated here, we need to multiply by three. So then the total number of studs, the total number of studs is the uh, number of studs that we need from the wall plus openings plus corners. So we need 35 studs in that area that I take off uh, for three and uh, five eight studs. Top and bottom channels, this is going to be the length of the wall multiplied by two. So this is going to be 40 linear feet of um, three and five eight uh, channels for the walls. And then uh, the cost of, of these elements we can either find on the cost per unit or in the cost per assembly. So depending on which way we want to go, we will estimate the cost of those.